the instant when a Christian dies. A Bible lesson. Jesus said, Truly, truly, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me, has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. So then, what will a Christian experience, at the instant when his physical body dies? Here are nine hints, taken from the words of Jesus, and the New Testament of the Holy Bible. One. The same day, a Christian will be with Jesus, in paradise. The day when Jesus and a thief were crucified together, the thief pled, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Two. Angels will come transport the Christian to a place of comfort. Jesus told about a sick beggar, the poor man died, and was carried by the angels. Now he is comforted. 3. The Christian will dwell in a house that Jesus has prepared for him. Jesus said to his followers, in my Father's house are many rooms. I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. 4. The Christian's faith is fulfilled, being at home with the Lord Jesus. We walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage and we would rather be away from the body, and at home with the Lord. 5. The Christian's future will prove better than his present life. Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. To me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. 6. The suffering Christian finds rest, and rewards from his work on earth. Those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, from now on, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. 7. God still loves the Christian who dies. Neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God, in Christ Jesus our Lord. 8. The Christian martyr sees Jesus welcoming him into heaven. When martyred, Stephen gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. 9. The Christian arrives in God's heavenly city. You have come to the city of the living God and to innumerable angels in festal gathering, and to the assembly of the firstborn, who are enrolled in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of the righteous made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood. Have no fear of death. For at the moment when your body must die, you will be more alive than ever before. Angels of God will accompany you alive into the heavenly city, where you will be at home with Jesus, in the place that he is preparing for you.